Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our No Fires Savage Hunter dual challenge run in the Long Dark. Uh, we're currently trapped in this tiny cabin by a blizzard outside. And let's see, have I stashed anything in here for later use? Possibly in here? No, that's empty. Alright, it doesn't look like I'm planning to come back here. Um, yeah, and I'm not carrying much. I left a bunch of stuff up at the, um, cabin up the ridge. It sounds like the wind is quieting down a little. Let me just take another quick look outside. Nah, it's still pretty bad. Alright, I think I'm going to attempt to kill a little bit of time by just sleeping a couple hours here. Blizzard is still going. Okay. Sounds like it uh, finally stopped. Alright. This weather is not ideal, but I'll take it. Now, let me see if I can figure out where I am. I know the river is over here to the right somewhere. And I can go ahead and continue following that. Alright, all those docks, that must be the fishing hut area. Got some saplings there. Definitely don't need those. Alright, let's um let's head down here. So the current plan is. I'm going to grab the rest of the cattails from this river, go to the fishing huts, collect the rest of my gear, and loot the two that I didn't already loot. Uh, and then we're going to go back to the Quonset. We're going to load up with all the stuff that, that we want. We're probably going to be really overburdened. Okay, so I think I grabbed stuff from up there. We'll just go ahead and continue starting with these cattails. I don't really need food, uh, but these are a really nice source of food that can never give you food poisoning. Looks like there are some rabbits down here. How am I supposed to get through here? Okay, this works. No, oh, I can't get over that. All right. Looks like that might be it for cattails. Alright, I'm gonna go up this way. We're gonna get on the road and see if there's any vehicles over here that we didn't um, loot yet. I don't actually remember if there's anything down this way. Pretty sure this is a dead end. Yep, that just ends there. There's no cars or anything. At some point, I'll come back and fully explore this whole area in some other run. But for right now, I want to stay on task for this challenge. I'll take that.
Don't need that note. And is the trunk locked? Yep. Alright, you know what? This is a nice flat open area. Let's get some experience with the rifle. I think one of them ran away from me. Alright, let's crouch. He's gonna start charging me and let me get close. There we go. Oh, that went well. There's my shell casing. Um, I'm not going to be using those this run, so I'm just going to leave it there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and take out this other wolf too. And we'll check out this fishing hut if I didn't already. I can't remember. I think I worked my way out there during a blizzard. I should have crouched before I started this. Alright, well we got our skill to level 2. Now hopefully if we go up against... a bear, um, we'll have a higher chance of killing it. Finally making some real progress on... the... hunting part of the challenge. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Uh, we're not going to carry matches around. Alright. As long as I didn't miss anything on these shelves. Yep, that's it for that hut. Looks like we've got some beach combing here. What is that? I think that's just some kind of firewood. Wow, I can just walk right out here, huh? Where does the weak ice start? That seems pretty dangerous. Alright, let's go back to the fishing huts. I don't um, need any of that firewood. Apparently there's a maple that spawns right there. I wonder if that's always there. Alright, let's see if we can get three in a row. Come on, wolf. Can you identify me? Alright. Wait for him to line up his... Oh, man. I just clicked to shoot. Uh, we're doing this... Well, he's going to be bleeding. Um, we pull the revolver out. If we come across any wolves, we'll use this to scare them off. Why can't I shoot it, though? Oh, no. Okay, well, there's a kill. Um, I want to get someplace okay. where I'm a little bit safe. Gotta stop that blood loss. I'm just going to step in here briefly. Okay, let's uh, patch this up. Have I been in here before? Yeah, okay, I have. Um, I'm warm, so I can just go ahead and do this crafting out here. Need to craft something for my infection risk.
All right. So um, while I'm in the menu here, let's go to my journal and add. So we've killed two wolves because that one will bleed out from the. Um. Yeah, the first one. I didn't hit with the revolver at all. I just um need to make sure that these are ones that I haven't shot because those wouldn't count. Okay, and then the one that I did shoot, I shot twice, and he just died on the spot. All right, I'm going to keep the revolver out for right now. Um, I'm low enough condition that so that I don't just lose outright. Um, just check inside this boat real quick. Got a toolbox. I might have already looked in here, actually. All right, let's get up to the cabins. Now, last time I was here, I think there was a bear prowling around. Doesn't look like there's one around this time. Alright. Let me just see... Okay, I've got excellent gear for my head, so I don't need that scarf. Um, and I did already loot this whole area. So, other than the thing I came here specifically for, which was the boots, I think this is just something I left behind, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. I already have more than enough painkillers. Now, I think I am a little light on cloth. I only have three pieces. So I'll probably break some of these curtains down. So those are the two cabins that I already looted. Now let's check out the other two. Oh, there is a bear right here. Oh man, this would be so perfect if I didn't already have such low condition. It's a source of leather, I guess. Alright, against my better judgment, I think I'm going to risk it. Um, let's see. So if I go after him... I'll definitely get into a scuffle. I don't think it will kill me, though. And if it does, then lesson learned, I guess. Okay, he's figured out I'm here. Let's crouch to steady our aim. Now that he knows that I'm here, I'll take a shot. And let me see if I can get another shot off. Yeah, I did, but all right. This could end the run. I am like at half condition, but I don't think it's actually going to kill me. Could definitely be wrong about that, though. Hope I have my bandages all sorted out. Uh, I'm going to bleed out soon. Okay. Let me see how low my condition is. I might have to apply a stim immediately. Really should have had something to drink before I did this. Ah, okay, okay, I'm okay. I got... Get inside before he realizes I'm there. Wow, really? I lost my toque from that. Okay. Um, let me drink water. Get out of there. And let's bandage... My blood loss.
Okay, I'm all set. I did survive that. Um, I can't survive another one, though. All right, well, maybe I am going to pick up that scarf after all. Yeah, now I've got a bunch of stuff that needs to be repaired, too. Alright, we need to stop and get more old man's beard soon. Now, I don't know for sure if I actually hit him with the first shot. It looked like I was aimed right at him, but I don't remember seeing a skill increase. Uh, maybe I can... Where do you look at skills? Okay, it's hard to see. I don't know the significance of this. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we definitely need to pass a bunch of time in here. Give him time to get out of here. I guess it technically doesn't matter whether I hit him. All that matters is whether he bleeds out, and I'll know that based on... Looking at the wildlife killed entry in the journal. Or the stats. Alright, let's start doing some clothing repairs on these items that I got ruined. Or close to ruined. God, I could eat a horse. I need to actually patch up my infection risk. Glad I noticed that. Alright, that's in pretty good shape. These definitely need to be repaired. Oh, you know what I just realized? I don't have much water. This will give me... Um, this will replenish some thirst, and that has a very low chance of food poisoning. Might even be zero, since it's above... 75%. So I think I'll just do this, and um, I guess all I really have is cattails. Speaking of cattails, uh, I wish I had found a container in here before it got dark. Oh, I am not tired at all. Oh, right, because I got those extra two hours of sleep. Well, that wasn't very uh, good. Hmm... Let's see what it says about bears. Survived four bear attacks. Okay, so I have killed two bears. So that bear must have died. Yeah, I thought I must have gotten a shot off on him. Which means that if I venture outside, the only thing I really have to worry about is wolves. Um, I kind of wish... Okay, there's the door.
I'm gonna see if I can find a little bit more water. All right, let's start using... Oh, did my torch get dropped on the ground out here? Yep, and of course I forgot to pick my rifle up, as usual. That's just a blood spot. Don't need stones. Okay. Yeah, I've got to remember every time that happens that I need to come back on. Retrieve my stuff. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. All right, this has a nice warm bed in it. Uh, we will likely spend the night here. Unless I decide to run all the way out to Jackrabbit Island, which I might. Okay, so I think I just came in here and looted this. Is this the third cabin or the second one? One, two, three. Okay, so there's just one place left. And I must have not left water here. Where did I leave that water? Okay, I already looted this. Did I loot inside the cabin? Ah, here we go. Okay, so there's my water that I left behind. Those are in good shape. I did loot around everything in here. Okay. So we're just going to spend the night. Hmm. Do I really not want this? Let me just take a look at it in the other cabin. All right, I'm going to go back to the place with a nice bed. I don't know if it matters, but... I think it's this one. Okay, I have a specific reason for this, but uh, I'm not going to go to sleep right now. I could eat anything is slightly risky, but I already killed several wolves in this area. I want someplace safe to stand where I have enough light to actually do stuff. So I'm going to use this fishing hut as that place, and I'm going to get a little more tired before I go to sleep so that I can actually recover condition. Um, I have plenty of water now, so I'm just going to drink. And I'll go ahead and eat a bunch of cattails as well. We'll get all of our food sorted out when we get back to the Quonset tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to eat anything that gives me food poisoning risk. I'm just going to eat all these cattails. Let's go into the menu for this. Okay, so I'm going to stand here, repair some of my clothing items. Then we'll walk back to the cabin, keep the revolver out in case we need to scare any wolves off. And that way I'll be tired enough that I can sleep and recover most of my condition tonight. In, uh, one long run. And this is an excellent use of these cattails, because I cannot afford to get food poisoning right now. I mean, I probably could survive it, but I really want to heal up tonight. Okay. Let's do some clothing repairs. Still need to remember to go grab that wool scarf. Um, that's... This actually could use another repair. And let's see. That's in fine shape. I guess I'll... Um, Spend an hour on this. Ooh. 
Not really that tired yet. I gotta get my sleep schedule back to normal. Oh, right. I remember now. This has a higher temperature bonus, I think. Um, this goes up to 2.5. This one only goes up to 2. So that's why I had um, left that one behind. Okay, and the last thing is boots. Uh, let's harvest these. Now, the boots give 7% protection. The work boots, that is. Yeah, I think I'm going to prioritize protection over the um, increased temperature of the insulated boots. Um, eventually, I might just carry around both and swap between them as necessary, but... Do I really want to put an, an extra hour and a half into this? Um, I don't think it's going to hurt too much. Yeah, then we'll be done with this. Okay, so this will repair it um, up to max. If I don't fail. I need to find a place to rest. Oh, it's actually fully dark now. Okay. Wait, what? Um, guys, we're dead. Now I can't cheat. He detected. I that was an instinctive reaction. How did a bear get out here? Here is footsteps. Um, unless I one shot him, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I have to engage him. Okay, so he's after me. I can't retreat to a place that he can't reach from. So I've essentially got one or two shots. Alright, let me think about this. As long as I don't retreat to some place that he can't reach me, and I stay engaged on him, then I'm following the rules. I have stims. Maybe that is the same bear. And I just didn't kill him last time. Man, that is scary. Okay, I think this is my best shot at surviving. Uh, what we're gonna do... We're going to use a stem to heal ourselves. Oh man, that is not ideal. Really wish I had a lantern now. Now I can't see anything. It sounds like he's behind me. I'm just going to keep walking this way for a little bit. I hear something up here, too. Alright, this is extremely nerve-wracking. I think I might need to use my other stim uh, when this one runs out, just to give me enough condition to survive the inevitable... Okay, that's a deer. Oh, goodness, I can't see anything, and I got turned around now. Okay, there's the fishing hut. I am too tired to think straight. <sighs> All right. Um pull my revolver out 
Does he still know where I am? Sounds like it. Sorry about the terrible quality of the lighting here. I don't know if bears are scared by torches. Maybe I could um, light a torch and it would be okay. He's definitely still there. I can hear the coast over here now. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go this way. Well, I might have tactically increased my health to the point where I can uh, survive an encounter. Alright, now I'm gonna drink coffee. It'll give me just a little bit of energy so that I can run. Um, which might be necessary because I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna attempt to shoot him and then run away a bit and then shoot him again. Alright. Here goes. Oh, I ran out of energy. I'm surprised he didn't charge me, though. Right, let me go over here where I can have a clear shot. Oh, now he knows I'm here. Alright, let's go for it. And while I reload, I'll run away, and... I got a second shot off, but... Didn't kill him. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Gotta get far enough away from him that he cannot. God. Get interested in me again. I'm gonna Gotta get my rifle soon. though. Okay. okay, we're bleeding out. I'm gonna run this way. I have no idea what direction I'm going. Finally allowed to leave the area that he's in. Now I've got a wolf to deal with. Uh, I've got to just get rid of him. Did I actually hit him? I guess I actually hit him. That wolf is scared of me right now. Alright, I got no choice. I'm going to stand here and bandage myself. Otherwise, I'm just going to die. Wow, if I survive this, I just don't know where I am. And this fog, and the fact that it's so dark. All right, here's uh, rocks. Okay, there's another wolf. I think I hit him, but I scared him away. About to run out of energy. Um, then my condition will start going down again. But I'm on the road now. So I'm going to go this way just because I know that the bear could still be around. There's got to be houses up here. I'm so tired. I could lay down right here. Um, no matter where on the road I am, I'll get to houses eventually. I believe that I'm headed towards the Quonset, but I got so turned around. Um, well, I guess uh, technically I know I'm headed towards the Quonset unless I actually went past it. Which is possible. Okay, I'm fully tired now.
Man, that was rough. Well, I was going to end the episode a long time ago, but obviously, um... Things are a little tense right now. Okay, I'm just taking the first opportunity I have. And this is it. I did not mean to do that. Okay, I scared him. I didn't even know you could scare a wolf. That was an Aurora-empowered wolf. Alright, I made it. Just get me in bed. I gotta drink water once I find the bed. Um, please tell me there's a bed in here. I'm just gonna light this. Oh. This is a much larger house than it looked like on the outside. Wow, that was tense. Okay, uh, I've got enough calories. I'm just gonna drink to full on water. Gonna extinguish this torch and then let's get some sleep. Um, full 12 hours. Hope I didn't screw that up. I think I had enough calories. Okay. We've survived. Well, um, that was really close. So now I'm wondering... Was there an Aurora? So the wolf had glowing eyes, but that could have just been an effect from the nighttime. The bear definitely didn't seem to be Aurora empowered. I'll die if I don't drink soon. And none of these lights in this house were going off last night. So I'm going to say that no, there was no Aurora. Um, and that was just a regular wolf, which is probably why he got scared off by the Revolver shot. One last thing. Ooh. How did my infection not trigger when I slept for 12 hours with infection risk? Um, let's craft. That actually could have killed me, couldn't it? Um, yeah, I could be wrong about that, but I believe that if that risk had triggered early on in my sleep and I got an infection and then I continued to sleep for the next many, many hours, I believe that would have just killed me. Um, so I got pretty lucky there. All right, I'm going to step inside and back out, or outside and back in, to create a save point, since I healed that. I don't want to forget to do it next time. Okay, and that'll be it for this episode. Um, wow. We, um, okay, right. <laughs> I got distracted by the infection risk. Here we go. Bears killed. We're still at two. So I must have either missed that last bear, um, or there was a bug, and it didn't bleed out properly. Um, so we still have three bears to go, and we still have one Aurora bear to go. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, new episodes will be coming out every day, and thanks for watching, everyone.